Hey guys, in this video, we are taking a look at the redesigned Apple CarPlay interface which has been introduced in iOS 26. I'm currently running iOS 26 Developer Beta 1 on my iPhone 16 Pro Max and I am now testing the new Apple CarPlay which is available to all CarPlay users. As I'm currently on iOS 26 Beta 1, do keep in mind that a lot that you see in this video could change by the time the update is released to the public in the fall of this year. Bugs and performance lag is also expected and should be fixed by the final release. The new CarPlay draws a lot of inspiration from the liquid glass design language that Apple has brought to all of its operating systems. Just like on iPhone, users on CarPlay now have the ability to choose between default, dark and clear looks. The clear look gives you the optional glassy aesthetic that Apple is promoting throughout its platforms. The icons on the new CarPlay look fresh and give it a more unified look with the new iPhone. The clear look gives you the optional glassy aesthetic that Apple is promoting throughout its platform and the dark look looks pretty cool in my opinion. In iOS 26, CarPlay now gets iOS style widgets. These are found on the leftmost page. Some of the widgets included in Beta 1 include the clock widget, calendar, music widget and more. You can also add more widgets and remove the existing ones from CarPlay settings on iPhone. We will get into that later. The CarPlay settings app has also been updated with some new features. Here you can find various different sections that let you change how it looks and functions. In the wallpaper section you will find the new iOS 26 official wallpaper for CarPlay. Sadly you still don't have the ability to add your own wallpapers to CarPlay. In the accessibility settings, you get different features like color filters, text size, ability to make text bold, voice control, and sound recognition. The text size setting lets you change the size of the text up to 110%, 120%, and 135%, which is convenient. You also get some Apple intelligence and Siri settings. So you can configure it according to your liking. You can also configure the silent mode and have it mirror your iPhone or do custom settings for CarPlay. As I mentioned earlier, you can configure the widgets page on CarPlay through the settings app on your iPhone. Just go to settings, tap on general and then tap on CarPlay from there. Once you're on the CarPlay settings page, tap on your CarPlay system like this. And on the next screen, tap on widgets. Here you will be able to configure all the widgets, remove the existing ones and add more widgets from the browse screen. Some of the other widgets that you can add to the CarPlay widget screen include the Bluetooth widget and the weather widget. You can scroll through all of your widgets by swiping up or down and select the widget that you want to keep on the widget screen. You can have up to five widgets on the widget screen at once. So guys, this was our look at the new CarPlay and all of its new features that Apple has introduced in iOS 26. Remember, this was iOS 26 developer beta one. So a lot can change by the time iOS 26 is released for the public. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iOS 26 content. This was Zay for iOS Hacker and I will catch you in our next video.